What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And I really hate making videos that kind of talks uh, about the game, things I don't like. But at the same time, you know, I, I kind of like having discussions here on the channel with people that watch the uh, videos and kind of listening to your opinions and your thoughts down in the comment section below. So definitely leave me some comments today. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I know a lot of people in the community are disappointed with the Halloween update. And I thought it was pretty disappointing as well. Now, in all honesty, it was pretty much what I expected. I wasn't really expecting anything great. I was hoping for something great, but pretty much expecting the same old, same old. A lot of people don't like it because they say the horse masks are just reskinned. But that's kind of the same case with every outlaw pass we have. If there's any mask for your horses, they're pretty much just reskinned. Uh, the player masks that you get from Adam Mazar are pretty much to reskin things from last year, if not the same looking skin, uh, mask in a lot of ways. Uh, there were no clothing items in the Outlaw Pass. The best thing in the Outlaw Pass, in my opinion, is the gothic kind of bar decor you get um, at the very end at level 20. But the one thing, like I said, was really surprising to me is there was no clothing items whatsoever. I was really hoping for an update that added in some really neat stuff. A lot of people also don't like the new zombie mode because they talk about how buggy it is. I've only played it twice, so I don't have a lot of experience with bugs in it. But I know there's a lot of people saying there's just constant bugs and constant issues with it. So, you know, I've just been seeing a lot of that, you know, talk going around within the community about how a buggy the new mode is. Also, uh, it's just, it was kind of disappointing because I think they could have done something a lot better. I think they could have added some cool clothing items in. I think they could have done some cool events going on. I think they could have probably decorated some of the towns for Halloween. I think that would have been really, really neat. I also think they may be, I mean, I know in uh, Undead Nightmare, you know, you had the several different kind of horses that you could get, Pestilence and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I thought it would have been kind of cool if they would have added something in, you know, like a limited time item and maybe the, uh, uh, you know, you can go to the stable and buy one of these cool kind of Halloween style horses, you know, something that's kind of like you saw in Undead Nightmare. Just overall, I was kind of disappointed with it and I think a lot of the community is as well. And I look at some other games out there that do really good jobs with Halloween events. I think of the ESO Online, Elder Scrolls Online, something I've played for a long time. I do content from time to time here on the channel. And they have a Witches Festival every year at Halloween. And there are people that have played that game for five, six years now since it's been out. And every year they go back and play this event because there's new things added in. I look at what Call of Duty has just done with uh, Warzone and the Honing of Verdansk. I mean, that's in some people's minds, is one of the best updates Call of Duty has ever done. And I sit here and think... Why can Rockstar not do something that cool for uh, Red Dead Online? Now, they do they do a lot of things for GTA Online for Halloween. And I know a lot of people are disappointed that Red Dead Online just kind of gets left out. Um, I was, like I said, I was hoping, I, I was wanting more. I pretty much got what I expected, you know, when it comes to the content that we did receive for the Halloween update. But just overall, I know the there's a lot of people in the community kind of upset with it. There's a lot of people that's kind of just disappointed with it. And as you all know, over time, there's been a lot less players in in the game really playing. There's some people that, you know, they still enjoy it, still love it. And there's some that's kind of just fallen off from playing because it's really just never updated to what uh, I think a lot of people would like to see. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of people want to see more from the game, and we just don't really get it as of late. Um, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Are you happy with what we got with this Halloween update? Are you disappointed? And yes, more stuff than last year, of course, because last year we just got masks from Adam Mazar. But at the same time, like I said, I think they could have added in a lot of cooler things, uh, a lot of cooler stuff uh, within the past, kind of within the game, within the update. Like I said, it would, they, there could have been a lot done here, uh, and it would have made it a lot more enjoyable, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, uh, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.